maybe we should start considering how dangerous our escape plan is. Like, if Fuzzy Bunny Slippers are a 1, and Dynamite is clearly a 10, then we probably want him around, like, a 4, 4.5 kind of thing. So, maybe a giant hammer would do the trick? I don't see how this could be dangerous. I really think this could work. Okay, listen. That's not my fault. The planning was flawless. The execution was lackluster. Maybe if you put down the hammer and hit it with your purse, it would have worked. What's up, guys? Welcome to Stickman Escape School, a game that can really only be described as a cross between the Henry Stickman games and the Riddle School games. Now, two of the best Flash game franchises ever, as far as I'm concerned. They made for really good series on the channel, so of course, anytime I see something at all like them, I can't help but hope that it's gonna be amazing. Right off the bat, I gotta point out that I'm a little concerned with the fact that we're the only student in this classroom, and that our teacher seems to be yelling at us from inside some kind of invisible box, and that there's a very visible box of danger in the classroom with us. It seems like a perfectly reasonable situation to want to escape from, so how about we just have it so school is over? Wait, so school ends, and the teacher gets to leave. He's long gone, but I don't? And there's a cardboard box full of chainsaws and cheese, dynamites and keys. I don't know if my teacher is into some really kinky stuff or some kind of weird Dr. Seuss serial killer. How about we keep things nice and simple? What if we go with a uh, grappling hook? Everybody knows how you're gonna escape school with a grappling hook. We're gonna attach it to the radiator. We're gonna climb down the side of the building try not to fall to our death, or get arrested, or fall to our death. <laughs> Wait, we were fine! This police officer, or security guard, just killed us? In all reality, job title doesn't matter if you've broken a child's back. Maybe simple isn't the way of going about this. Fortunately for us, there are no more simple answers. Like, everything else is either incredibly extreme or abstract. Like, how are we going to escape with a piece of cheese? I would imagine we're going to use it to lure a mouse into the classroom. It's going to have something to do with our teacher and a mouse. Okay, th wait a minute. So rather than just sneaking out while he was gone, we went into the box, we got a piece of cheese, we lured a mouse into the class, waited for him to return, and then scared him off so that we could sneak out. Oh, and we're not out yet. Okay, so we can either hide in our locker or jump out the window. Aren't we on like the 10th floor? Let's try jumping out the window. I'm not saying we're gonna fall to our death, but I'm not not saying that either. Interesting. And now we have the option of egg or egg. Let's go with egg. I totally knew we weren't going to die there. Obviously, we were going to get into a fight with birds first and then die. Well, isn't that egg on my face? I both love and hate these games so much. Now that I think about it, I don't know why my first instinct was that he was going to hide in the locker. We're trying to escape. That backpack could be a parachute. That would have come in handy. Like, twice? Or it could be full of a bunch of crap like the box. Who knows? There's really only one way of finding out. We just gotta get decapitated by the school nerds. No wonder we want to escape the school. Everybody here is a psychopath. After being crushed and decapitated, I'm almost afraid to ask, what could the worst case scenario for bunny slippers be? Like these pink, fluffy, sweet little bunny slippers. We're just gonna put them on and... Sneak past the teacher. Okay. So the only way of avoiding him is either distraction by mouse or stealth slippers. Now, do we want to use the elevator or the stairs? I really don't want any students or teachers seeing me wearing these sweet little slippers. So how about we use the elevator? That being said, teachers don't usually like it when you use the elevator. Right? Maybe that was just my school, but they would always be pissed. Like, you really don't want to see a disembodied arm with a newspaper in the elevator with you. Otherwise, it might be a teacher who cold cocks you. <laughs> I called it!
it. I, I told you guys that you gotta drag your foot behind you or something. Make it look like you have to use the elevator. Considering everything that's happened, dying of embarrassment does not sound that bad anymore. So how about we go with the stairs? Maybe we can just like take our take our time, be a little stealthy. Tap. I didn't tap. Since when are there quick time events? And I once again broke my neck. Let's try that again, except for this time with a whole lot more tapping. I'm I'm just gonna spam. Right? Tap 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 tap. Good good tap 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 tap. Uh, we're apparently tap 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 tap. Yes. I can't believe that tap tap tap. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> You're killing me inside <laughs> and outside. How many times does my skull need to be bashed in? Despite the fact that there's like a dozen different ways for me to die using the stairs, it does look kind of promising. Like this is the first time we've gotten three layers deep. I may very well be able to avoid this police officer and get out. If I could just tap, 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 all the tap, all the tap, yes! <laughs> We're free! <laughs> Third attempt? You know, being very liberal with the counting. Would you believe that escaping school on a Monday doesn't stop you from having to come back in on Tuesday? We're back once again, and this time around, we're gonna try the key? It doesn't really look like a key, it might be... Okay, we're like picking the, the door. Oh, oh, tap, 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 tap. No, I don't think so, teacher. I'm on to your shenanigans now. I'm ready for the tap, tap, tap. Yes. We're good. I got it now. I got it down pat. No more bashing the skull in. Moving on to Wednesday, and I think I'm finally starting to get some tiger blood in my veins. I'm ready to defend myself and arm myself with a knife? Sounds like a smart idea of when everyone is trying to kill you. You're not supposed to... You're not supposed to use it like a screwdriver and you should definitely stay off the roof. You're a hundred percent gonna fall to your death here. But maybe... We can use the backpack as a parachute! Okay, right idea, wrong execution. I still think the best course of action would be to stab your teacher, stab the security guard, and then just claim self-defense. But sure, you know what? If you want to make your last phone call, go ahead. Use one of your lifelines. See if I care. Who could you possibly call to help you escape? I didn't realize the kid had connections, okay? Looks like we've worked our way through all of the obscure and abstract options. Now we're moving on to the extreme. Like, dynamite? We're just gonna blow up the door? That seems excessive. But successful? <laughs> so close! Maybe we should start considering how dangerous our escape plan is. Like, if Fuzzy Bunny Slippers are a 1, and Dynamite is clearly a 10, then we probably want him around, like, a 4, 4.5 kind of thing. So, maybe a giant hammer would do the trick? I don't see how this could be dangerous. I really think this could work. Okay, listen. That's not my fault. The planning was flawless. The execution was lackluster. Maybe if you put down the hammer and hit it with your purse, it would have worked. I really am trying my best to predict what could go wrong with these plans, but like, I don't even know what this next one is. It looks like a keychain without any keys, like an alien head or, or like a, a car starter, maybe? I don't know. Either way, we're going to have to use it, so we'll activate it. Okay. Technically escaped, this should be a victory, <laughs> so long as we don't get eaten by a giant alien. Okay, there was no way for me to see that coming. The more we learn about what all these things do, the more I question what my teacher has been doing with them. <laughs> like, how much of this has been up his butt? Tell me, honestly, I need to know. Hopefully not the chainsaw. <laughs> Cutting down the door seems reasonable. Oh, oh, he's gonna tap, 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 tap. There we go. Go. Did we just cut off his mustache and... Really? You couldn't beat the security guard chainsaw versus baton? Wait a minute, how does the chainsaw do the exact same thing as the key pick? Like, we use the chainsaw to get through the door, and that's perfectly helpful, but we could pick our way through it, and then we take off the teacher's mustache rather than just punch him. We take off his hat rather than punch him, and then... Oh. Oh, it's not the same. Yeah. 
turns out using a weapon? <laughs> Not appreciated. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, wh why is there barbed wire around the outside of the school? <laughs> Was this supposed to be an escape the prison game? I honestly wonder if there's like a cheaper version of this somewhere that's just slightly tweaked. And last, but hopefully not least, we have the giant red button. Considering we've already called in aliens, I would imagine this is probably gonna nuke the school? Or teleport us to the middle of a desert road? A little anticlimactic, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, these games. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Stickman Escape School, guys. And funny enough, I did check to see if there were any more games like this, and there weren't any knockoffs or slight alterations, but there is a sequel. There's a Stickman Escape School 2 made by the same people. So if you guys wanna see that, as always, be sure to like this video, let me know. And it's definitely different. I looked into it a little bit, there's a lot more to it. It's not the same kind of pick a thing, see what happens. So it looks like it'd be really interesting, and I really wanna play more stuff like this. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.